afternoon from the second day here at Distributech in New Orleans. With me this afternoon I have Rob Swartz who is the president and CEO of PDV Wireless and a forming member, founding member of the Utility Broadband Alliance. Is that correct, Rob? That's correct and, th and thank you for having me here. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm PDV's chief operating officer and um, our focus as PDV in, in bringing forward this Utility Broadband Alliance, or as we call UBA, um, as we travel around the country as PDV talking to utilities about their communications needs, um, with grid modernization, we see a tremendous demand for connectivity on all the growing number of endpoints that are being used as, as the industrial internet of things continues to grow and as the key issues of things like cybersecurity and uh, with grid modernization with um, distributed energy generation, um, we're finding that there's a more and more need to understand how all these endpoints will be brought back to a, to a central point for the command and control of these important uh, electric grids throughout the country. Um, our background as PDV, we were founded by the founders of Nextel, so our, our, our understanding is how to run global networks for industrial purposes uh, for the benefit of, 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 the, of the users. And so as we were talking to utilities throughout the country, um, we saw that independently they were all trying to solve the same kind of problems. And that was really understanding how to apply modern communications technologies and, and, and in a private form because as you know utilities really rely on their own networks, not just the electric networks but communi private communications networks mm. because the importance of, the, of that data traffic, they can't always rely on public networks. They want networks that are as resilient and reliable as their own networks are. And so as we saw the same problems being addressed in different, in different utilities throughout and in, as different vendors trying to help with those problems, we, we realized there was a need for a centralized alliance between all those utilities. And so we formed and really helped stand up the Utilities Broadband Alliance. But importantly, the membership of that group, as we've, as we've disclosed and announced it this week, um, is led by utilities and for utilities. And so that includes leading edge utilities like Southern Company and Ameren and National Grid and key vendors like Ericsson and Burns and McDonald and Cisco and many others. We actually have 13 different companies in our initial announcement and we're seeing here at this great show in Distributech this year that that really was just the, the platform which we could talk about it and now we have dozens more interested in joining this really important alliance. And really it's a place where utilities can come together, um, vendor agnostic, spectrum agnostic and solution agnostic to be able to share the kind of problems they're solving with the, the work that they're doing and for example we're working with Ameren and their pilot where they're trying to um, enhance the connectivity, the command and control of their network, both because they, they need it for resiliency and because of some of the mandates coming from the state agencies. Um, we're working with Southern Company, who's been a market leader of using LTE. They have the largest private LTE network deployed for their own use. They also offer that service to, to third parties, other enterprises and utilities. And so the learning that they have from being the leading edge of, of applying this technology and solving these vital issues, they're now through this alliance sharing that with other members. And, and vendors are coming forward both with equipment solutions but also application solutions. So we want this to be the place where innovation can, can exist. Again, technology agnostic, vendor agnostic to solve the problems and use cases of utilities. And if you were to summarize the mandate of the Utility Broadband Alliance, what would that be? Yeah, it, it really is to take broadband in, in, in a private form, on, in private networks, and, and specifically we see the opportunity from PDB, our contribution to the, to the alliance is bringing, we have a national band of, of 900 megahertz spectrum. It's low band spectrum that has very good physics characteristics of it. It, 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 it propagates, it spreads very well across large service areas. And so utilities who are, have to cover places where there are no people, where the transmission lines exist and substations exist, um, we're bringing that to the table so that they can use that as part of the solution. But the overall, the, the, the goal of, of, of UBA itself um, I'm getting used to saying the name Abba. <laughs> We've got a lot of jokes that we'll share later about what that, that but but the concept of um, you know utilities coming together, it's it's a unique industry. You know, in other competitive industries, the players in the industry don't join forces to work together instead yeah. because they compete with each other. In this sector, they have the opportunity that they're non-competitive and just the opposite, they're supportive of each other. So when we deal with engineers that are testing out certain devices in you know the, the state of uh, Georgia 
and you have the same people in, in the state of California trying to understand the same issue of, will this device solve this particular purpose? They don't need to repeat that process. It's been type accepted by utility in Georgia, and they share that data with other folks. So it's really a hub for them to be able to understand how the, the application of this new technology. I mean, the interesting thing about private LTE is that it's a technology that we all carry in our smartphones. It's, it's, this, it's the global standard that's used by entities throughout the world, by carriers use it, but the application of this technology now that's a global standard to be brought down to a private use for utilities is really the, the new use case of it. So we're not testing technologies, we're testing the application of this global technology for utilities to be able to use to solve their, their important needs. What are the next steps? I mean, you announced the, 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 the launch so of the that, Alliance? That, that, that's a great question. So we announced the launch. We have, a, we have an initial seed group of people as the founding members, and we're really asking here at the show, and it's great that we have the opportunity to talk about it here, that anyone who's interested in joining the Alliance, um, it's, it's ubba.com. As, as, a, as a website that they can go to and, and get more information about it. Um, and our goal for the Alliance is really to have it stand on its own, right? Today we're, we're seeding it to stand it up, but it should be owned and led by utilities overall. So um, the next step is really to bring more membership for those other utilities and, and the surrounding ecosystem to join. And then for those utilities to set the, the mandate of what, what, what the specific purpose is. What are the real use cases that they want to solve? What's the prioritization of, of things that should be discussed? What do they want to hear? And as an example, some of the utilities have already said, um, you know, they have a pilot going on in a particular state, they want to host the next event and invite other utilities to come see it, come kick the tires, come understand the real world problems that they're solving with it, so rather than them having to build the exact same pilot in another place and spend their capital, leverage off of what's already been done and build on that. So this is so collectively, the industry as a whole can, can build on, on all of the progress that's been, that's been made to date. Unfortunately, this is all the time that we have for today, Rob. Thank you so much for Thank joining us. Thank you for the us. time, we appreciate it. For those of you watching, don't forget it's ubba.com from Distributech. Thanks for watching.